do we need these scores? So there is a difference in the clinical approach depending on the estimated gestational age. It also helps you in prognosticating. So we should keep in mind that there is always a variability of minus 1 to 2 weeks or plus or minus 2 weeks. And so when we prognosticate to the family, we should keep that in mind as well. A rough idea at the start is adequate. So I hardly do uh, the Ballard score in clinical practice. So we usually have uh, early booking and we have the ultrasound based dates. So we go by that and usually the weight can corroborate as well unless there is IUGR. Uh, in a country like India where booking status is often not known, early dating is not available, the mothers may not remember the LMP. In those situations, you may consider doing the Bellard score. Remember that these are premature babies who don't like to be handled. There is always a risk of infection or uh, disturbing the babies, a circulation compromise. So handle these sick babies with care and prioritize. I mean, this is not the most important thing when the baby is sick. Obviously, your management will be guided to some extent, but you will have many other parameters to guide based on the hemodynamic changes and other parameters. So be very gentle and don't repeat these movements. The baby scores will actually uh, declare the maturity of the baby. So this is in a nutshell a summary of Ballard score. I hope uh, this is useful and uh, do uh, share this information with friends who may find it beneficial as well. Thank you.